Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Gorillas and Heels. Today, I'll be sharing with you 10 brands that you absolutely need to check out if you're visiting South Korea. So the very first brand is Anda. If you are a Lululemon's fan like me, you absolutely need to check out this brand. Anda is Korea's number one favorite activewear brand and I love its products. The material is so lightweight, it's breathable and it sculpts and hugs your body perfectly. I would say it's comparable to my Lululemon's aligned leggings. The sizing that I wear for Anda is the exact same sizing that I wear for Lululemon. The model to look out for is air cooling. They have a couple of ranges but air cooling is the best one. What I love about Anda's leggings is that it sits right where it's supposed to sit. So if you're doing heavy exercises or you're doing squats or vigorous exercises, the leggings do not slide down and the material is breathable at the same time. Another thing that I like about the leggings over Lululemon's is that if you look at the front of the leggings, it's seamless at the front. Whereas for Lululemon's aligned leggings, there is a strip that goes down this way which sometimes can make you look like you have a camel toe. So some of the clothing items are made in Vietnam but, but for the air cooling range, this is made in Korea and material is excellent. The leggings are not expensive at all if you buy it from Korea. I bought two leggings for 30 US dollars. They very often have one for one promotions. So pricing is really worth it, especially if you buy it in Korea. I know there are some international sites where they also sell under brand clothing, but pricing can be up to four to five times of the price that you can get in Korea. Check this out. This would be, I would say my best recommendation. The second brand to check out is Pete's Mama and this is the Pete's Mama bag that I got. What I love about the brand is that it uses eco-friendly materials and modern knitting techniques to get this design of the bag. So the sales staff was telling me that each bag is made up of 16 recycled plastic bottles, which I do find is quite meaningful because it creates a more sustainable environment. There's so many color combinations available and I picked up this blue one and I've been using it a ton for grocery shopping, for exercise classes, or for just running simple errands. There are different styles available like there's a tote bag, shoulder bag, two-way bag, cross-body bag and even a backpack version. The style that I got is a two-way shopper bag. What I like about this bag is that there are different ways to carry it. So there's a long strap here which you can wear it on your shoulder or you can even use the short handle and carry it like this or at the crook of your arm. When I was visiting a store in Korea, they were also running an extra promotion where you can play a traditional Korean game and if you meet the milestones, you can get an additional 10% off the bags. This bag was going for about 90 US dollars and you get additional tax refund as well. The third brand which many of you might already be familiar with is Gentle Monster. They sell eyewear, either sunglasses or spectacles and I just love, love, love their sunglasses. It's so minimalistic. They have like a very flat surface which makes it look more chic and stylish and going to the store it's really like visiting a museum the way that they have exhibits and the way that they display the pieces what i love about gentle monster is its customer service so even if you buy the pair of glasses in korea you can actually service or adjust the eye frame anywhere in the world and it's complimentary sometimes the nose bridge region or part of the glasses will become loose and i can just walk into any gentle monster store and they will do the adjustments according to my face. If you buy it in Korea, it's also significantly cheaper. The glasses range anywhere from 150 US dollars to 300 US dollars. Gentle Monster comes up with a different pouch every single year and I know there are some diehard fans that collect a pair every single year because they have a different case version and it's always beautiful, right? So you can also use this to carry your other types of eyewear and not necessarily the Gentle Monster sunglasses. So this is the pair that I got. Um, it's the basic one and it's called Tam. I got it in the olive color. I was really eyeing the cookie sunglasses as well, uh, but that was a little bit more pricey and I really regret not getting it because when I went to the Incheon International Airport as I was leaving Korea, it was completely sold out. So I really regretted not getting the pair in Gangnam when I saw it there. This is my second pair. My first pair have lasted me about five years. My husband also gets frames from there, but he uses them as regular spectacle frames. The fourth 
friend to check out is Tambourines. Now Tambourines is the cosmetic branch of Gentle Monster, so it's under the Gentle Monster brand. And the queues are always super long, but I would say going to the store is really an experience. The brand is so popular because their products really look like sculptures or artwork. If you look at the hand creams, the design is just so interesting. And the perfume that I picked up is this scent called Camel. I really love it because it's musky and floral at the same time. So the top notes are daisy and the base notes are musk, white wood and amber. They don't just have perfumes but they have different product lines like hand cream, body cream and serums. It's not super super pricey. Um, I picked this small bottle up for about 25 to 30 US dollars. The fifth brand to check out is Mani Macready. Now this brand has been so popular in recent months. The brand is known for the big floral motifs that they have with their vibrant colors. I think green is the one that's the most popular. Why it's so striking is because it's really fast free. It is a fashion statement. So you can easily pair the oversized t-shirt with high-waisted pants or high-waisted shorts. And they're also known for their sweatshirts and jogger suit sets. The classic Marty McCarty t-shirt was going for about 40 US dollars. The queue was really long, so I didn't manage to go to the store, but this is definitely, I think, a nice souvenir that you can pick up. The sixth brand to check out is this brand called 8 Seconds. It's a fast fashion brand in Korea, and it's very similar to Zara or H&M. The pieces of clothing there is very affordable. You see a store along the different shopping streets. Um, it's very casual, and I think it just makes for nice shopping if you're looking for something affordable, yet trendy at the same time. The next Korean brand to check out is Roro and Roro makes lifestyle pieces so they make bags, eyewear and even luggages and their most popular product is their luggage. So if you are a Rimowa fan, you might want to check out Roro luggages. The luggages are really popular in Korea and some of the special features of the bag is that it has a tea handle bar which makes it very convenient for you to hook your other bags on it. They also have a built-in scale which tells you how heavy the luggage is and I think that's really really useful where you can actually weigh your luggage at home before going to the airport. There are so many different vibrant colors. They also have a special 360 degrees wheel technology which allows you to wheel the luggage seamlessly and quietly. They also have a hidden pocket under the bar which allows you to put important documents or things that you want to access quite easily and this is definitely something that I will pick up the next time I visit South Korea. Next three brands will be beauty brands. I guess there are so many beauty brands in South Korea, but I talked about beauty brands because I have been using these brands for the longest period of time, you know, over a period of 10 plus years. And that is why I highly recommend them. The next brand to check out is Laneige. If there's one product that you need to pick up, it's a Laneige water sleeping mask. I've been using this product religiously every single night for the last 12 years. My skin always wakes up feeling hydrated and plump. And this is something that I cannot miss in my skincare routine. Next up on the list is Suhasu. I know a lot of you are familiar with this brand. Suhasu is Korean's premium skincare brand and they incorporate a lot of ginseng into their products which has very high antioxidants. It's good for anti-aging and if there's one product that you need to pick up, it's the Suhasu eye cream. The formula is so creamy and it just glides over your under eye. Um, I talked about this briefly in my last industry video and this is really my number one holy grail eye cream. You really really need to try this and you won't regret this. I've repurchased this over and over again and it's pricey but it's really worth it. And the very last brand is Innisfree. I did a very in-depth video on the top Innisfree products that you need to pick up. But again, this is a very affordable Korean skincare brand that uses ingredients from the Jeju Island. So they use things like green tea, orchid elixir, black tea, and they do have a wide range of products. So that is the last brand that you need to check out. And as usual, I have two important shopping tips for you. The first one is if you are shopping the departmental store like Lotte, you can actually consolidate your order and you get immediate tax free. So if you're buying things like Gentle Monster or Under, you know, if you're buying the same place, you can combine your receipt and then get the tax free immediately at the departmental store itself. If you buy from the individual stores, you actually have to get the receipts one by one and sometimes you may not even meet the minimum amount spent to get tax free. You would have to get your tax back at the airport, which means additional time would need to be catered for at the airport. It's quite seamless, it's quite fast, so it's not really an issue, but if you are are buying quite a lot of things and you would like to get tax-free immediately then maybe shop at departmental stores because it's much easier. 
The second tip I have is that if you really want to enjoy the best prices, shopping at the Incheon International Airport is not a bad idea. The prices there are really good because you do not pay any administrative fees at all and the airport often runs additional promotions and have different coupons and vouchers which allows you to get a much better price. Even for the luxury brands like Bottega, um, Burberry, they also have additional promotions and the prices are very similar to Europe tax-free prices if you're looking at you know buying from the big luxury brands. One thing to note is that you may not always get the model that you like. So for example, when I was talking about Gentle Monster, the exact model that I want was out of stock at the airport. So yes, those are just two shopping tips for you. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. It's so good seeing you all here. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Goodbye!